Bada boom. Bada pow. It is Troy Talks A Lot time. Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. Tonight we're going to be a little bit quieter. It's about 1.15 in the morning or so. Um, and people are sleeping. So you guys are getting a little bit of a Troy Talks A Lot with a little ASMR integration. We'll see if you guys like this. Let me know in the comments down below. I need this for a slate, so I'm gonna do this early right now and then get into why we're talking about this. Anyways, here we go. Scene two, episode 13, the perfect time to kiss. Or I guess you should say, the perfect kiss. The perfect kiss, who do I think I am? Like writing a Hallmark movie? It is time to find this Troy Talks A Lot pillow a new home. So all you had to do was be subscribed to the channel, like the video and comment down below. Here's the comments here. This week's winner is Alex Roblon Vlogs. Congratulations, Alex. I'll be shipping off this pillow ASAP, you list. Anyways, as far as this episode goes, all you guys have to do is subscribe, like the video, comment down below, and I'll be choosing one lucky person in the comments down below to send 50 bucks to you for a little lunch on me. In the next episode, of course. Let's get in the video. The Perfect Kiss by Troy Talks A Lot. I want it to be the perfect time to kiss or the right time to kiss, but the perfect kiss just sounds a little bit more romantic, you know? Let's just romanticize life a little bit as we all should. Why did I think about this? I don't really know. I think I must have been talking to someone about kissing, apparently, and uh, yeah. So I kind of relayed my stories, and I think that's how this all kind of segued into this episode. Um, anyways, I could wrap this entire episode up right now. However, that would be about a two minute episode and that's not very fun. So I figured I'd give you a little backstory of how I um, fucked up a lot of kisses in my day. Um, probably didn't shoot the shots that I had, didn't take the moments that had presented themselves and uh, didn't kiss a lot of girls that wanted to be kissed um, solely because I was a pussy. I was a flat out pussy, but they always say you are what you eat. The perfect time to kiss. It's such a great feeling, isn't it? When you're with someone that's new and you guys have yet to lock the lips. You know, you're on your date or you're hanging out, whatever it may be. And you're just thinking the whole time, how am I going to kiss this girl? And the girls are thinking, when's he going to kiss me? Or I hope he doesn't kiss me, you know, whatever it may be. And honestly, those are have got to be the most fun times because it's just so new. It's something new. It's a new feeling. It's a new um, experience. It's a new magic. The suspense that leads up to that moment is like everything. Like it is, your senses are so heightened because you're kind of like freaking yourself out and you're nervous, but you're excited. So you're just kind of like, what's the, what's the appropriate word when you're, you're anxious, you're anxious for it, but that's such a fun feeling. And as opposed to rushing in to the kiss just to get it over with, I think a lot of people should kind of indulge in the moment of the unknown. I hope you understand what I mean when I say that. But as opposed to kind of just like diving in and getting it done real quick, you're never going to have that first moment ever again. So learn to enjoy that feeling of not knowing how it's going to go down, how it's going to go, if it's going to be good or bad, when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen. Just stop asking the how, what, when, where, why, and kind of just enjoy the time that you guys um, are kind of nervous and just holding out and building the suspense until the final god forbid it's bad what if you waited that whole time after like a bowling date or a mini golf date and then you went to the movies and grabbed a bite to eat and then it just turns out to be something that you weren't really looking forward to but then on the other hand of things what if it was fantastic and you're like wow that was awesome i'm so glad that we waited because it just feels like the appropriate time now which now kind of segues into the appropriate time to kiss. Now given, I have a lot of experience with this. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, yes, Troy, we get it. Like you've made out with a billion girls in this world. No, I actually haven't. I've had my fair share. But like, you know, I'm not a serial 
make her out or kiss her, whatever you want to call me. However, I am a serial non-kisser. Let me explain. Um, when I was in middle school and high school, I had quite a few opportunities that presented themselves as clear as day. It was as clear as day. You couldn't have these poor girls try any harder, bend over backwards any more than they already did to just kiss me. And for whatever reason, for whatever reason, you know, there were just so many opportunities that I didn't take because I just waited too long for the perfect moment when there really is no perfect moment. There are some moments that are a little bit more desirable. However, I think too many people put pressure on making the first kiss just something so extravagant and grandiose and perfect timing. And with that, I feel like people just put too much pressure on making this perfect kiss when in reality, it, it really never goes according to plan. It's never really as perfect as you want it to be, but you have to find the perfection in the imperfection. And that's what makes perfect so wonderful is that it's not perfect. Maybe you guys like kind of come in a little too hot and you clink teeth and you're like, well, that's not exactly how I planned it in my head. But that's your perfect moment, and that's the moment that you will forever cherish. You know, maybe you guys get in, and someone just slips a little tongue in a little too quick, and you're like, whoa, partner, slow down, cowboy. Oh, someone's up. Who's up? I'll be quieter. But anyways, the whole point of this is find the perfect moment in the imperfection. Without beating around the bush, here's my answer the perfect moment for a first kiss is that moment when you're thinking to yourself should i be kissing this person right now that's it that that is the moment that you should go in because one the more you think about it the less likely you are to actually do it it's like going and seeing a pretty girl and you're with your friends and you're like wow she's really attractive i want to go say hi the more we think about it the less we're likely to do it Sometimes you just have to get up and beeline straight for that person. You don't know what you're going to say. You don't know how you're going to approach the situation, but you're just going to get up and you're going to say hi and just see where the conversation goes. You kind of got to do it the same exact way with the first kiss. You don't know how good it's going to be. You don't know how bad it's going to be, but you just got to go for it. And like I said, the perfect moment for first kiss is the moment that you are thinking to yourself, should I be kissing this person right now? The answer is yes. Honestly, if you're thinking about whether or not you should be kissing this person right now, that just means you probably should have done it five minutes ago. Because the longer you wait, the more pressure you put on it, and the more it just kind of starts to feel awkward. I feel like the rule when it comes to the first kiss is the 90-10%. The guy goes in 90% and the girl goes in 10 I feel like it's pretty standard, but like I mentioned, the longer you wait, the more awkward you make it. And then you really just start to put pressure on yourself. And you're just thinking to yourself, man, why didn't I just kiss her 20 minutes ago? And now the girl's probably thinking, why isn't he kissing me? Now it's getting a little weird. Why is this interaction all of a sudden awkward? And that's kind of just, you know, again, a fun moment to kind of live. And I feel like that will be broken after you guys kind of go in and kiss and do whatever it is that you do but to reiterate the perfect moment for your first kiss is the moment you ask yourself should i be kissing them right now the answer is yes yeah you probably should you feel it you know exactly what i'm talking about is that tension between the two of you where maybe the date's going well and you guys are having fun and laughing and whatever but then there comes that moment where you guys are a little bit closer now and you're like, oh shit, I can feel this. And your heart starts racing a little bit and you're like, fuck man, like, what do I do? Like, how do I do this? Like, when's the perfect time? Like, do I put, do I put her hair behind her ear or do I like hold her cheek and like pull her in? Or do I like look at her lips and look at her eyes and look back down at her lips and you start to like freak yourself out? Just 
fuck all of that just go for it and i promise you the sooner you go for it again i'm not saying pick her up and fucking make out with her right off the bat but like when it comes that time you just gotta do it yes like there are times that you could kind of make it a bit more romantic if you're at the beach and the sun setting and you're just like wow this is a really good moment then yeah go for it or you guys are like you know sitting in the car listening to music and you're just kind of just vibing and you feel like oh this is just a nice moment yes you can kind of tailor a certain mood for the moment but i wouldn't go too far to make it too much because then it just kind of gets weird and I feel like you just put a lot of pressure on yourself. I'm not saying don't make it special because listen, at the end of the day, like the first time is very special. The moment you feel you should go in for the kiss is the moment that you should be doing it. Yes. I feel like that's more geared towards guys and girls. I've, I, listen, I guess it's 2023 now and yeah, I don't know. Call me old school. I think the guy should make the move. But girls... I'm not saying you shouldn't. Sometimes guys can be shy. Girls, if you want to make the first move, have fun. Do your thing. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just saying I'm a little bit more old school where I like to be a little bit more in control. But um, I think there's other things that girls can do to kind of incentivize the first kiss and kind of get that ball rolling. If you feel like he's a little shy or a little timid, um, it could be as easy as you putting your hand on his lap. That's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be you doing 90% and him now doing 10. We don't need to flip the script. But by you just kind of breaking that physical barrier, just kind of just helping him out with a little touch, that kind of gives him the green light to let him know, hey, the feeling is mutual. When the fuck are you going to kiss me? I laugh about this because, again, like I said, in high school, I was such... A fucking pussy even after high school like in college with girls i really liked oh my gosh i would take them out and i would wait for like date two and i'm like looking back on it now and i'm like why the fuck did you do that and to me i thought well that's because now she has something to look forward to on date two but the older i get the more i realized yeah that's i guess that's a valid reason but it's really not because now i feel like you're leaving her confused and she's like well what the fuck did he not like me like did i do something wrong and all of a sudden now she's flipping the script being like well he didn't kiss me on the first date like what's wrong with me like did i do something wrong did i turn him off was he not interested in me so to me i feel like yeah like kiss on the first date if you guys are both into it obviously if you're not into it don't fucking do it but i was always so weird and i wouldn't kiss on the first date as if it was such a big deal because I wanted to leave her something to look forward to for date number two. So fucking stupid. I was just such a pussy and I literally had just put so much pressure on myself to perfect the moment, perfect the song playing, perfect this and this and this, which it all worked out. Like it all worked out really well. I had the sun was setting here. I had Bozzy playing 315. The window was rolled down, so there was a nice breeze coming through. And for some reason, I just didn't do it. But like I said, you don't have to have the perfect moment. I think that part of me putting so much pressure on perfecting this moment, kind of building up to this perfect moment, kind of ruined it in a way because I had just put so much pressure on myself that... I was now thinking more about how am I going to build up to this situation as opposed to just, oh, she's a good kisser. This is nice. This is going well. Shame to look back on it and just think, wow, Troy, you really fucked that one up. I literally had this girl, took her out to dinner. We're in the car. My hand's on her lap. We're vibing. We're having a great time. We drive up the hills of Hollywood. We sit at this really sick, like, overview. It was such a, it was a very secluded, like, like, secret spot. It was the secret spot of the Hollywood Hills. And we sat up there and just saw the whole entire city. You saw all of Los Angeles and it was like 11 or 12. And we're both sitting like this. 
and she's sitting and she has her arm wrapped in between mine and I'll just never forget like I looked at her and she looked at me and you know that feeling you know exactly what I'm talking about when you just know oh it's gonna go down right here like this is the moment but I just fucking pussed out and I think I pussed out because I had so much in my head like thinking okay I'm gonna take her here and we're gonna go here and we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for this to be said that by the time it actually got to it I just, I wasn't even in the right headspace. I had just put so much pressure on myself for this fucking kiss. Like, listen, at the end of the day, it's a kiss. It's not a life or death situation. And I didn't fucking kiss this girl. And I don't know why that one sticks with me because trust me, there are a lot more other than this one, but but this one just sticks out to me for some reason. And I just didn't do it. And I think it threw her off. I think it threw her off a little bit. And I told my friend Lucas the next day and I was like, yo, I didn't do it. I pussed out. And he was like, bro, what? Yeah. Long story short, I took her out a couple times after that. And, you know, we did our thing. But I don't know. It was just it was so interesting. So when it comes to the first kiss on your guys's first date or first hangout, don't put too much pressure on it. It's just a kiss. Yes, it's going to be magical and butterflies are going to be skyrocketing and fireworks are going to be going ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. But the more pressure you put on yourself leading up to that moment, the more you're kind of just killing the vibe. You know, like it should very much be just you guys going with the flow. And when you feel the time is right, that's the time to do it. Don't overthink it. When you are overthinking it, you should have done it 10 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago probably even 30 but just fucking do it man up or girl up and just fucking kiss them on the lips it's not even that big of a deal it's really not that big of a deal i kiss my friends all the time anyways with that being said don't put too much pressure on the situation i'm gonna end with this if you like them and they like you and you know the feeling is mutual the time is right love is in the air and you both are feeling that anxious feeling of is this about to happen right now that's exactly when you go for it that is exactly when you go for it do not wait any longer you go in right then and there just go in because once you go in and you guys end up you know kissing or making out then like all of your thoughts and all of this build up and all of this tension just is thrown out the window. Everything just goes blank. Like you kind of just like black out and then you're like, oh, we're doing this. This is awesome. Like everything that we did today kind of led up to this moment. And that's kind of like just the icing on the cake with a little extra chocolate sprinkles. But yeah, when you feel like the feeling is right, go for it. Don't wait any longer. Just fucking do it. Anyways, that's the perfect kiss, ladies and gentlemen. I got to go to bed because it's like two now. Um, But I love you. And thanks for listening to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot, The Perfect Kiss. Side note, um, use Aquaphor or any kind of lip balm gloss that you guys use. One, we love that shit because it tastes fucking good. And two, nobody wants to be kissing any crusty, dusty ass lips. This girl the other day had this road, like vanilla creme brulee. Like, I don't know what it was. It was like a vanilla something like lip balm lip gloss and that tasted great that was that was really nice (laughs) girls give a guy a heads up when you have the little lip plumper on because man i've tried that once and i was like what the fuck like why are my lips tingling right now she didn't tell me at the time but i'm now very aware of what it was um but i thought i was having like allergic reaction at first i was like oh fuck like did she eat something and i'm like allergic to peanuts all of a sudden but no it was just a lip plumper lips gloss stick whatever fuck you call it um anyways with that being said keep them hydrated just going for the kill happy kissing or making out whatever it is don't forget to use tongue anyways thank you so much for watching another episode of troy talks a lot this was the perfect kiss if you stayed this long i just want to say thank you so much for listening again i really appreciate all the love and support coming from you guys i see all the dms i see all the emails um just thank you thank you for being you 
please, please, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 10K by the end of the year. Once we hit 10K, I'm taking you guys on a date. So remember that. Just smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, send a comment down below. Oh, I respond to all the comments within the first 24 hours. Again, that's where I do most of my talking. So if you guys ever want to talk, just comment down below. I'm always there to respond. If you have any questions you ever want me to touch on, because I see them in my DMs, just email me in the uh, the email in the description down below. It's www.troydo. So w-w-t-r-o-y-d-o at gmail.com. And I'll throw my two cents on it in a future episode. Anyways, with that being said, I love you so much. Have a good night. I gotta be quiet. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.